Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video on a vintage pachinko machine. Uh, just got a new phone, so I'm trying the cinematic version of the videos, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, but uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. Um, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do so. And as always, Magic Pachinko Restorations is the website you can go to. A lot of information there. Uh, about Pachinkos, and that's it shows you some of the work that I've done, so on and so forth. Someone will call me sir without adding, you're making a scene. That's my homework clock up there. Okay, so today we have a 1975 Sanyo Comet 2. This has been a full restoration, play field, everything, you know how it uh, goes. This particular machine um, was in a little little bit of a rough shape when I got it, not so much in... in um, dirt and things like that, but it had been tipped probably a number of times. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I put the feet on them. Uh, there's the feet, okay. Um, so that they don't tip. That's pretty important. I'm gonna try to adjust this down a little bit, so bear with me. There we go, okay. All right, so you can see the feet. Um, this had tipped forward at some point, and, and obviously it hits on the first thing that's, or the thing that sticks out the furthest. It had hit, and it had broken this plastic in here. Uh, both screws basically were holding nothing. Um, on the inside, there were some broken screws, so I used some epoxy to, to strengthen this back up again. It's good. It does support a lot of weight when there's balls in it, but that's all good now. So let me uh, bring this in, give you a, a good look at the play field. This is a very, very busy machine. Uh, a lot of stuff going on on the play field. Uh, these are not the original spinners. The original spinners were in really rough shape. Uh, so I grabbed these. I think they look pretty good on, on this, especially with such a busy, busy play field. Got some interesting tulips here and a, and a pretty cool center attraction. Now with the Sanyo uh, Comet 2s up here is where the ball out light is and down here is where the light is for the uh, jackpot. Uh, there have been times when I've uh, put some extra lights over here and things like that. So there's there's some other things you can do with a Sanyo uh, Comet 2 to kind of dial them up a little bit. So let me turn this around. Show you the back side. Uh, this, again, uh, had tipped over the from the back way. Um, this is the thing that sticks out the most. So this had a, this whole piece was gone. So this is vinyl siding for anybody that runs into this same problem. Vinyl siding, I epoxied it on, and then I used a heat gun to uh, soften it enough to bring it around the corner. And then you take the heat away, and it'll it'll stay um, in that that rounded position. The uh, up lower feed tray cover was missing. Uh, this is one for a different machine. It's not the exact one that's supposed to be there. It's in there. I had to modify it a little bit. Um, if it ever pops out, you just push it back in, make sure it's there because this keeps the balls from jumping over each other as they go into the jackpot chamber. Uh, the uh, seesaw cover was missing, but that's not a big deal at all. So we just don't worry about that. Um, usually if I have extra parts, I'll, I'll install them when I do uh, restorations. But uh, with this being a Sanyo, most all of the parts that I have are, are uh, from Nisogen, which is one of the more prolific companies. Now, when you do get your, your Pachinko machine, there'll be a white box up in this tray and it will um, hold your power supply. So you're just gonna get the power supply out of the box. It plugs in. See that little pigtail right there and then that gets plugged into the wall and when you do have power now to your machine when it's empty the ball out light will come on and that's the same on every machine when they're empty you plug them in this light should come on this is your ball out light it's controlled by this micro switch here when there's balls in there it would go off and when there's no balls it goes on now with a Sanyo power supply. I've had this question a number of times. It's a little bit dark up in here, but um, there's three pins on these, and that would have been, in the parlors, would have had uh, uh, another connector that would have just slipped in here to give the machine power. It's the top two pins. There's three pins, 
three pins. It's the top two pins that you're going to put power to. Just ignore the third one. So I, what I did is I soldered the pigtail onto the back side of the board. It was easier than trying to solder it onto the pins. So we've got the power. Now, when you first load your machine, you want to make sure that this is your ball dump release right here. Now, some machines like the Nisogens, when the ball dump has been, been thrown, you have to actually reset it. Um, with this, 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 this will release the balls, and then as soon as you let go, it snaps back. Now, what you have to be careful of is when you release the balls, when there's balls in it, these two will swing out of the way and let the balls go down the dump chute. When you let go, they're on the they're they're going to be like that. So what you need to do is just push; they go back into the proper position. So hanging vertically is where you want them. So just double check that. And as always, just start with a few balls, drop them in, and if they run down into the jackpot, you know you are okay. If they run out and go onto the floor you know you've got to reset this. So that's why I always suggest just a handful. Uh, another thing on the Sanyos is there's a little uh, white plastic set of uh, fingers that will go in. So when you drop balls in, it'll, it'll stop them right here. Now that's a maintenance piece. Uh, it's not something you will ever deal with as an owner, but you want to make sure that that's pushed out of the way and let the balls go all the way down into the jackpot chamber. So now that we know that's all okay, you can load this right up. And again, I, I can't stress this enough to anyone who has a pachinko machine. Um, I get an awful lot of phone calls from people who just say, you know, my, my machine's not working. And the first thing I ask them is how many balls do you have? And if the answer is a handful, then you're not ever gonna get your machine to work right. You need to have this full so that it changes this and gets off the ball out light. Wow, what's going on? Okay, oh, I'm stuck. Hang on, I gotta release the... Oh, there's a ball down here, that's why. There we go. Okay, now we're all set. Okay, um, if you don't have enough balls in here, it, it doesn't reset the ball out light. It also will not let you uh, load balls from the front. Uh, it's just, it's all part of the mechanism that the machine needs. So make sure this is full. Once this is full, the other thing you need to make sure of is the uh, seesaw is tipped the right way. If the seesaw, which is in here, is tipped this way, it's incorrect. It needs to be tipped that way for proper um, working of the machine. So right here is a little red arrow. There's a plunger here you just push up and it brings the seesaw from this position to this position. And that's where you want it. Make sure that that is set. The other thing you're gonna need is some sort of a little box that will span between this chute and this chute. Uh, these machines were designed just to let the balls drop out. In a parlor, they would have dropped out into a trough and gone down to a collection spot. Uh, and for home use, you need to catch them so they don't go all over the floor. So right now, the machine is ready to play. It's fully loaded. Seesaw is where it belongs. We bring it back around. And now you start out with your, your handful of balls right in there. And you just press down and then let go. I mean, that's really all there is to it. So we got a win off of this tulip and the, the light lit over here. There's another win there. So as it, as it goes down through the center, it's going to open the side tulips. So you always want to try to launch your ball so that it drops down through the center of the machine. Although if this tulip or this tulip is open, there is you can launch harder to get all the way over there and then just launch a little softer to keep it on this side of the machine. But ideally, you want to drop it right down the middle like that. And it'll open all the tulips 
if you go down through here, it will open all the tulips. Now you've got three, four tulips open and you're gonna win a lot more. So that's the Sanyo Comet 2. Hope you like it.